so india semiconductor industry is around 34.3 billion right now this projected to go up to 100 billion by 2030 iphone will cost more how important semiconductors are hello and welcome everyone so this week's video is going to cover something that is at the heart of the global economy the global manufacturing at this point in time which is the semiconductor supply chain the global semiconductor industry which is valued in 2023 at 600 billion dollars and is projected to grow to 1 trillion dollars by 2030 is one of the foundational pillars of the modern industry so it underpins not only the consumer electronic sector but every aspect of industrial strategic and digital systems semiconductors power smartphones evs clouds uh, your telecom engines 5g robotics satellites and anything and everything in between even renewable energy systems and medical devices like mris are highly reliant on the semiconductor industry the scale of the industry is staggering over 1 trillion chips were manufactured last year serving more than a billion devices right now more than 50% of global manufacturing trade in the new age segment is towards semiconductors and semiconductors are embedded in more than 90% of equipment in automobiles consumer electronics aircrafts and so many essential devices but the industry is deeply global and deeply fragile uh, you know anything that happens at one corner of the of the world impacts the whole supply chain therefore you know in the recent disruption that are happening in the global trade due to donald trump's tariffs you can see a lot of news happening around uh, semiconductors and the value chain of semiconductors so therefore in this video we are going to understand this whole value chain of semiconductors this very very important part of the modern global economy and also india's role in it we'll also throw some light on how disruptions for example the pandemic or the trade war or even uh, you know changing regulations in europe and china can impact this fragile uh, value chain and you know uh, impact the whole industry so before we go in depth about the recent changes in the value chain let's try to understand what the semiconductor value chain is all about there are five key components of the semiconductor value chain and we'll try to explain this to you in simple terms explaining the key players the key geographies that hold the space in each of them so the most important part of the value chain arguably is the design it is like the brain work of the semiconductor industries the companies that are you know designing these chips plan you know what the chip does and how it functions what they produce is a blueprint of a chip right what goes where and the innovations that they do is you know on energy consumption on ai on how do we make uh, the chip more efficient and how to improve the performance the key players here are the well known ones being qualcomm on nvidia that everybody has heard of and which seem to be the you know flag bearers of the semiconductor industry now the second part of the semiconductor supply chain is fabrication so this is where the actual manufacturing of this chips happens and this happens in highly controlled environment which are called fabs so what happens in this process is that transistors are chipped on photovoltaic cells through advanced equipment so this is where the, all the r&d that nvidia has done becomes a reality and obviously it is very capital and technology intensive process now which are the key players here tsmc from taiwan samsung from korea intel are some of the major players which are actually involved in the fabrication of these semiconductor chips now the third part of the supply chain are people who are actually building equipment that these fabricators use so these manufacturers create this precision equipment that are used by tsmc intel etc so example of these machines are lithographic tools etching tools and disposition tools that are used by different industries only a handful of the companies manufacture these machines so therefore it is also a bottleneck in the supply chain and in fact netherlands through asml you know sort of controls a major part of this aspect of the supply chain now the fourth aspect of supply chain is assembly testing and packaging 
once a chip has been made it has to be cut from the wafer packaged and sent to the actual devices it is highly labor intensive but it is very crucial because faulty chips are discarded at this point in time and only the good ones go out to the final equipment here uh, countries like china malaysia and vietnam because of the low labor cost are the major parts of the supply chain now the fifth part of the supply chain is material and chemicals obviously to do all of this you need a lot of material and chemicals so ultra pure silicon chips photoresist specialty gases and acids are all needed to create a silicon chip it is very important because the quality of the material and its purity will impact the chips performance and only a very few countries manufacture these raw material at scale so these were the five major parts of the value chain and you can understand the importance of each of these five parts now let's try to understand which geographies and which countries have the strong hold on each of these five parts of the supply chain In terms of design, US is the leader. 55% of the chip design happens in the US with these well-known companies like Qualcomm and Nvidia. China has a very small stake around 5% and even Israel and Europe has very small 3 to 5% stake in this aspect of the semiconductor supply chain. Now in terms of fabrication, you know building these chips here Taiwan has a major stake. 60% of fabrication happens in Taiwan with TSMC as the major player. After that you have South Korea with Samsung and even China has a small stake here in this process. The US only has 5% stake in this part of the value chain and even European Union with Germany holding a very small portion of the supply chain. Now let's talk about the machines or the semiconductor equipments that are used for fabrication. Here very surprisingly Netherlands has 90% hold on the supply chain. With EUV tools which are manufactured by ASML, Netherlands has a 90% stake in in this part of the supply chain. Japan manufactures 30% of the etching and deposition tools and even US has some stake there. Now let's talk about the assembly and packaging. Here China has a 30% hold on the market. Malaysia has a 13% hold and Vietnam has a 10% hold on the market right now. So a lot of this market is concentrated in Asia and it's being held by these low labor cost countries. Now finally about the material, around 30% of the material is being held at Japan. photoresist fluorine gases and even and specialty chemicals japan has a 30% hold on this market us has a 25% hold with wafers and south korea germany and taiwan collectively have a 30% hold on the market so you can see that the supply chain is very scattered there are different geographies that hold a key portion of the supply chain and disruptions in the global market can disrupt this fragile value chain Now let's talk about the fragility of this uh, value chain right tariffs which have been recently announced have shown us how fragile the semiconductor industry is and how it is impacting the world the moment you know the let's say us puts a tariff on china uh, you know people think that it's going to disrupt the semiconductor industry across the board if you remember the last trade war There was a chip shortage that happened due to all these policies and even Indian automobile companies could not manufacture their cars because there was a shortage of chips. So some of the recent conflicts being the recent US and China tariff war, the US tariffs has disrupted this whole value chain and you know because China's capability to do this advanced fabrications are impacted, it is impacting some of the business that Nvidia gets, some of the supply chain of Nvidia as well. and you can see an impact on the nvidia trade price every time these tariff wars are announced china has also you know some come out and said that it will also impose tariffs and it will not supply rare metals to the global order and that will again uh, disrupt the supply chain the us china trade war has also put a 25% tariff on semiconductor parts that are imported from china and you can see that various european and us companies are already shifting to geographies like vietnam and malaysia to get those parts 
obviously the big impact here would be that your uh, semiconductor prices will obviously go up because this shortage that will happen due to disruption uh, there will be shortage of chips and semiconductor prices are going to go up what that would uh, do is even you know equipment price for example an iphone will cost more because you know it will be more expensive to manufacture the chip that goes into an iphone so that would be some of the impact that this war would have and smaller companies so for example nvidia is highly capitalized and huge it will not you know suffer that much it will see some price correction but smaller companies who are manufacturing or designing chips will see deeper impact due to this disruption the number of regional responses and in policies that have happened recently also for example us has created an act that subsidizes local manufacturing and they have fund of 50 billion to accelerate that The European Union has created a 43 billion fund to increase self-reliance in semiconductors and boost manufacturing in this space. China wants to become 70% self-sufficient and it has created a fund to accelerate. Even India offers 50% subsidies on capital expenditure that semiconductor firms does and through the PLI scheme and various measures the Indian government is also trying to accelerate the semiconductor industry in India. Let's quickly go over India's role in this whole supply chain and where we are in this process. So India's semiconductor industry is around 34.3 billion right now. It is projected to go up to 100 billion by 2030. In terms of IC design, India holds 20% of the world's market. The core strength for India here are IC design and R&D. India has more than a lakh semiconductor engineers. It is also home to you know offices for Nvidia and Qualcomm. Uh, in the silicon city of india which is bengaluru even in manufacturing assembly and packaging various companies have been doing a lot of efforts so we'll see micron cg power kens and even vedanta trying to get some piece of the global supply chain in the semiconductor space uh, so india has a 50% subsidy on the capex for semiconductors 76000 dollars fund to sort of boost semiconductors plus there is a pli scheme where 20 billion dollars of assistance is promised to various semiconductor manufacturers there is also a dli or design linked incentive scheme where a lot of incentives are promised for chip designers but there are obviously challenges also because this is a very capital intensive segment so it takes more than 5 billion dollars to set up a fabrication center this other technology gap india has a higher cost at 28 to 40 million dollars whereas global competitors can do it in 3 to 5 million dollars india also does not have very pure material that is needed for chip and it is dependent on imports by 95% and obviously there is a lot of uh, skill gap we have a lack of skilled labor and we nowhere match the skill set that is there in china and taiwan but there are obviously some growth drivers uh, the china plus one diversification as china gets tariffs some of that business will move to india even even apple has said that they will move some of the industries to india the india's electronic and automobile market is booming so there's a huge demand for semiconductor chips and there will be growth of semiconductor companies to cater to that demand finally the growth of ai and sensor technology also needs semiconductors and it will boost the growth of semiconductor industry and this whole geopolitical realignment that is happening where us is finding fighting with china and even us and japan are you know sort of prioritizing india for some of the manufacturing Let's try to understand the sectoral impact globally you will see automobile segment get impacted with the growth of EVs the number of chips that are being put on a car have doubled so as the chip prices go up or there's a disruption in the chip supply chain it will impact the automobile industry in terms of consumer electronics you know again there's a huge dependence on chips and you can see apple which gets most of its chips manufactured in taiwan with tsmc and sort of tested and packaged in china is already seeing a big big impact and you are seeing declines in apple's price plus a lot of disruptions around that even in defense and aerospace the us defense and aerospace industry uses a lot of chips and they will see some impact of this uh, supply chain war in terms of cloud and ai infrastructure again there will disruption we've already seen huge impacts on nvidia stock price you know we've seen big corrections since this whole announcements happened in nvidia and that will be one thing that speaks about you know how this industry is being disrupted finally industrial automation companies will also see disruption because of this supply chain 
in india you are seeing similar impact the automobile industry is going to be impacted because of the shortage of chips but on the other hand in the consumer electronics space you will see companies like dixon canes and vedanta actually try to get some portion of the global supply chain and it could be a positive for them even in defense we are seeing indigenous companies trying to manufacture more chips for example bel they are focusing on indigenous creation and that could be a boost telecom industry will again be impacted if there is a shortage of chips the healthcare devices could also see some impact because there is a huge role of silicon chips in that market so that was our comprehensive overview of the global semiconductor supply chain we understood how important semiconductors are to the global economy at this point in time they are in fact the major thing that is driving the growth of the modern new age businesses we also understood the various aspects of the value chain what all steps are used in semiconductor manufacturing we understood which geography is controlled which aspects of this manufacturing process and how fragile this whole ecosystem is because you know one country fighting against another can really impact the whole supply chain we understood how different geographies are trying to counter this fragility by incentivizing semiconductor manufacturing in their own countries plus how india is also approaching this problem and trying to be self sufficient i hope you found our analysis of semiconductor industry insightful i hope it helps you in understanding what is happening in the world right now and if you appreciate this please do hit the like button subscribe to our channel and share across our video to all your friends Please write down in the comments what you would like us to cover next. Until then, happy investing. Investment in securities markets are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.